Hi guys, it's Nashley Mary here and today I'm here to do another Fashion Nova try on haul. I haven't done one in about a month, I believe, and we're back at it. So I'm already wearing one of their tops. I'm going to show you guys the rest of the items and we're going to do it outside of my regular setting. So this should be fun. This is actually a video that I intended on well, I thought I was going to record on Saturday, but my friends ended up whisking me away to my bridal shower, but they told me that I was going to be helped with a try on haul. So I have brought all of my Fashion Nova items to try on, thinking that I'm going to do it in a different environment, but they completely surprised me and it was so worth it. I'm so glad that they did. If you haven't already watched my bridal shower video then go back and watch that video I have a few items that I wore in the video that were supposed to be from the haul so let's get right into it so I'm already wearing one of the outfits this is what it looks like this is a bodysuit this is called the fools in love bodysuit it's in color mustard but it more so gives off a caramel feel it really doesn't look mustard in my opinion and I am outdoors, so if you guys hear the water, it's just a pool in the background, and I think somebody's mowing grass, so I apologize. But I wanted to come outdoors so you guys could kind of get in the vein of summertime and a more of an outdoor feel. So this particular bodysuit that I'm wearing is in size extra large, and I wasn't sure how it was going to fit because I usually wear a large, but because it's a bodysuit, I wanted to make sure there was enough coverage in the bottom area so I'm glad I went up a size so, so if you have a bit of back action you may want to go up a size the top area did not fit too big it fit perfect so I love this top you all know I love off the shoulder and I did pair it with these pants from Fashion Nova and these are the Bridget high-rise pants but in my opinion they more so look like mid-rise on me I don't know if you guys can tell they kind of come down lower in the back and these are in the size 11 so I don't think I needed to go up a size so that they would have fit a little higher at the top which is what I'm accustomed to but yeah I do like these jeans also don't have one button here but three buttons there is some space here and these do kind of stretch which is good so this is how they look at the bottom and I just paired these with some sandals that I found at Target one thing that I'm not sure about is why the pockets keep coming out <laughs> I don't know why that's happening because these pants fit me perfectly and generally this happens with pants that are maybe too small but they fit really well I still have space here so not sure why the pockets keep coming out but other than that I really like this outfit a lot <laughs> outfit number two I'm gonna leave on the same head wrap that I had on with this particular outfit this head wrap is from Rin's fashion I believe I feel that the next outfit would complement the head wrap really well also so I'm gonna keep it on all right so the next dress makes me so happy it's so flowy and comfortable this is called the no need to say goodbye Came, but <laughs> this is the no need to say goodbye dress it is so comfortable and long and flowy and perfect for the summertime so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like full body so this is what it looks like full body see how flowy it is guys it comes all the way down to my feet and I paired it with the same sandals I had on for my previous outfit. What I love most about this one is that it's not scandalous in any way. The slits don't come up too far. They're not like all the way up here. 
It stops at a really good point. And it has pockets, guys. I love dresses that have pockets so that I could, if I didn't want to bring a purse, I could just put whatever I need, keys or anything in my pockets. And sometimes I don't know what to do with my hands, so this helped me out a great deal. I did order a size large and it just fits so well. There is a little space in this area, but not too much to where it looks like it's too big. It's perfect for how my body composition is. It just looks so great. is a denim on denim look i am such a fan of this particular outfit it's so cute so this particular top is called the 90s time machine top and it has a wrap construction i did order it in a size extra large because i wanted to ensure that i had enough coverage in the bust as well as around my waist i didn't necessarily need as much coverage around the waist but more so in the bust area because on the website there was a lot of exposed cleavage and I wanted to ensure that that wasn't the case for my particular shirt and also the extra large also gives me a little more length at the bottom so the extra large was a good choice these pants are actually called the Phoebe super soft skinny jeans and these do have some distressed features along the thigh but I love that it's not actually showing my thigh and there's also some distressed areas along the knees and these are more so ankle length I didn't have to fold them up at all because they are the perfect length at all and I do also have on these glass slippers from Fashion Nova I wore these in a previous haul and I feel like they look so well with this particular outfit so now I'm going to do the full body look so you guys can see what it looks like these jeans are very comfortable and these do come up much higher than the Bridget high rise black jeans that I showed you guys. These are very true to what they say on the site in regards to being high rise and perfect for shirts that are on the shorter side. And this particular top has more so of a bale sleeve, I believe. And then there's like a scrunchy design here. So cute. So imagine if I did not actually get an extra large. We would have a whole lot of belly showing. I'm not about that life. And I could actually wear my hair up or down. I went for an updo currently, but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with my hair down. Girl, I Y'all, this next dress has summer written all over it. This is called the Caribbean Nights Maxi Dress. This, I don't even know if I said that right. Caribbean Nights Maxi Dress. And this is one that I hope to wear for my honeymoon. We'll see. I actually already got some wear out of it. I wore it to church this past Sunday and I posted a photo on Instagram and many of you guys went crazy and you're asking me where I got it from. I'm shocked as much as you guys that it came from Fashion Nova. They are really stepping their game up. I love this really pronounced sleeve. This whole little situation is so adorable and it looks really, really fancy. It's like next level. I love the design, the print and everything looks great. And this flowy material is so comfortable and perfect for being out on the beach or going to a nice dinner with your boo. I did get this dress in a size large, but I wish I had gotten a medium. So in order to kind of offset how large it is, I did belt it on Sunday when I went to church. And this was after my, well, during my bridal shower weekend. So after church, we went to brunch and this is a good dress to also wear to brunch or to church. So fast, all tied up. 
Okay, so this is what this dress looks like full body. Once again, I shared that I got this one in a size large, but I should have got a medium. As you all can see, it's loose in the midsection, just loose all over. It didn't come down extremely low on this side, which is pretty good. But I did notice that I actually had to tuck the side under my bra just so that it would stay up and my bra wouldn't be exposed. But for the most part, it works but I feel like it looks better if you were to belt it. So that's what I did. It's also really long, so I find myself stepping on this dress quite a bit. So definitely get a size down. This one is, it fits big. So if I were to wear higher heels, then that would help to offset how long this dress is. But I think the ones I have on are like maybe three inch. I'm gonna belt it. So this is how I wore it with it belted. And it looks really classy and chic and much more expensive than it actually was. I believe this dress is $49. So very good price. I'm just pulling it up here just to make it shorter at the bottom. So that's just a tip. In case you get a size that's maybe a little too big, you can just kind of pull it up so. And that takes away some of the length so it's not dragging the floor. Yeah, so the next two outfits are jumpsuits this one being the first one and i don't know if i'm losing a lot of weight or if these outfits are just fitting too big this one is called the read between the lines jumpsuit i love the color of it it has a denim feel to it but you'll see in a moment it's too big for me outfit looks like full body it is a really really nice summer look very flowy I love that it's really comfortable but it's so big I could have gone to a size medium you want to see how big it is in this area I'm still gonna wear it but it's big so this area has some extra room midsection some extra room and definitely in the back. There is an elastic band here as well to help cinch in the midsection, which is convenient. So it kind of helps to offset the fact that it's so big. And this is a wide leg look. The other jumpsuit looks the same way, except for it is in color burgundy. And I really like this one a lot, although I wish it was smaller and actually fit me. But it works so this one i love so much more than the last one although they're both in size large this one fits me so much better than the denim one this one is in color burgundy and white this one has a bow tie and it even has pockets Nova, if they never make another dress they killed it on this one this dress got so much attention this weekend it is absolutely stunning and it fits me so perfectly I love that the material is stretchy it also isn't too tight I did order a size large and I feel like I probably could have went down the size but I think it works so it has like these I don't even know what these are called, like a little ruffling, little situation along the sleeves. Such great detailing. And at the bottom, there are also some ruffles that kind of has like a little peplum, mermaid type feel to it. This dress is called the Sweet and Sassy Midi Dress. And y'all, it's all kinds of fears. I am absolutely excited about wearing this one for my honeymoon. I wore it for my bridal shower. 
not knowing that I was going to my bridal shower. I thought I was going to do a photo shoot, which is what the girls told me. So yeah, this one is definitely a showstopper. the dress looks like it kind of has a salsa type vibe to it so perfect for date night it's so stunning I love everything about it it's a very good length I love the mermaid feel at the bottom and all of the ruffles that it has going on with it it's definitely say I see like the description says now this area up here could have been a little more fitted because I found when I was at my bridal shower that this part would kind of expose me a little bit when I was moving around too much. So that's something I feel could have been a little better, but I guess if I had gone with a medium, the top would have fit, but then the bottom may have been a little too snug, but I think it works overall. And this one does come in color. I believe it comes in black, red, and royal blue. I actually desired it in royal blue, but they were out of stock. This one went very fast. I'm not even sure if they have the large anymore, uh, but I did see a medium and small the other day. I don't know about today, but hopefully they still have it available. All right, guys, so this is the last and final look. This one is actually a swimsuit. It's so cute and perfect for covering areas that maybe you aren't wanting to showcase. This one has a sarange at the bottom, so it covers your backside, which is good and it is a two-piece so i'm going to show you guys what it looks like but we're going to do so at the pool this time what i love about this swimsuit is not only the color but it also comes with a cover up for the back side. So you can tie it to create a more cinched in waist and also to give some more coverage. This area kind of has like a little cross action going. It is a halter top construction. And I did have to tie this tighter to give me more coverage here and it has a V design in the back. Alright guys, so that's the end of this Fashion Nova Summer Try On Haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check the description box for all the links to all the items that I showcased in this haul. Leave a comment or two comments. Like this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.